After 1945, people here in Germany claimed they didn't know anything. Who wanted another war? And concentration camps? Weren't those for criminals? Well, if they had just read the right books, they would have seen it coming. So many authors saw the disaster coming. Jewish author Leon Feuchtwanger wrote The Oppermanns in 1933, just months after Hitler rose to power. The Oppermanns are a wealthy Jewish family in the furniture business. Their story starts just a few months before the Nazis take over, but it's clear that change is coming. There's already anti-Semitic violence in the streets. But the Oppermanns don't want to believe they're in danger, because the Germany they know is so civilized. Here, people were not inclined to concede that a thing as imbecile as the nationalist movement had a chance. One's foundations were firm. One was equipped with comprehensive knowledge, enjoyed the fine things bygone centuries had developed, had a substantial bank balance. It seemed ridiculous to imagine that the tame, domesticated beast, the common man, threatened to revert to his wolfish nature. Of course, today we know what happened. World War II and the murder of six million Jews. But it's incredible to read how much of that Feuchtwanger already predicted. He was one of the first authors whose books the Nazis banned, whose passport they confiscated. He wrote the Oppermanns in French exile before fleeing to the US. He got out. But if you want to understand the false sense of security that led so many German Jews to stay put for too long, this book will give you some insight.